big question for you right now. Pay attention, buckle up, get some popcorn and take some notes. Today I'm gonna to talk about what's the number one mistake. The number one, numero uno. What's the number one mistake that new insurance agents make? I would say that there's probably hundreds of thousands of new insurance agents, and I, I could be off, right? Don't, hold, don't quote me. Um, but there could be that many new insurance agents that are starting over a three year period, probably true, every three years. And what happens is 92% of insurance agents fail in their first three years. So on interest agent training, welcome back. I wanna to talk to you today about what I believe is the number one mistake that new insurance agents make and why you don't have to make it, why you shouldn't make it, and why I'm giving you the confidence to opt out of making this mistake. And I'm telling you ahead of time because I want you to know, and more people need to know what they're doing. They need to be self-aware and they need to be ready because new, too many people fell in this business already. So today, I'm gonna drop some bombs on you and we're gonna talk about the biggest mistake insurance agents make, which is, drum roll please. Are you ready? Are you ready? What do you think it is? Before I tell you, we're gonna play a little game. Put it in comments below right now. I want to know before I before I tell you, I want you to put it in in comments below. What do you think it is? What do you think is the number one mistake? B bear with me. Put it in comments. I promise you're going to want to hear the answer. Don't, don't don't tune out. But put a comment in right now, okay? And we may pick a comment that we like the best and do something for, them, okay? I'm waiting. Put it in comments below. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the answer? Put it in comments below, what is the number one mistake that new insurance agents make? What do you think it is? I believe that new insurance agents make the mistake of, are you ready? You're ready, aren't you? The number one mistake insurance agents make, I believe, is that they think that they need to know everything before they do anything. What do I mean by that? Most new insurance agents feel like, okay, I don't know insurance real well. I need to study the products. I need to study the carriers. I need to study pricing. I need to learn everything about sales. Somebody's got, I gotta shadow someone for a day before I'll know what to do. Someone needs to teach me how to read off of a script. That doesn't even make any sense, does it? That's why I said it. Uh, I don't know what to text leads when I get them. Um, I don't know where to start with prospecting. I don't know what to do. I'm just not sure. And when you're not sure of yourself, your confidence diminishes and lowers. So what I wanna talk about really quick is why I think that putting forth activity is more important than product knowledge, carrier knowledge. Last time I did a crazy video like this, I had an insurance carrier, a massive one, probably a billion dollar company, reach out to me and say, hey, we, we watch your videos, thank you. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I said first. I said, thank you. Don't stop watching, keep watching them, you're gonna like the rest. But what, I, what they said is, um, you're wrong. When I said price is irrelevant, they said, you know what? Our compliance team said that that's not okay. Price is what's most important and everybody needs to be able to, you know, no, no, afford it and everything else. Yeah, but if, price, if, if the lowest price was the only thing that mattered, then that carrier would be out of business because that carrier is never the lowest price in any perspective at all, okay? Which is the same thing to be said for an insurance agent. You're never gonna know everything about a carrier. You're never gonna know everything about a product. You're never going to care about everything about sales. You're never gonna be perfect on the phone. You're never gonna be amazing at every objection you ever hear and you're just gonna be uh, relentless. You're never gonna be amazing, you're never gonna be perfect at being a know-it-all of everything. You're never gonna be able to spend one year with uh, uh, the most senior best agent in the world and follow them forever. You're, you know what I'm saying? Like You're never going to be perfect. It takes 10,000 hours to master something, so just do. As Nike says, just freaking do it, man. Most people fell because they did not do enough. I think the biggest mistake new insurance agents make is they think, they get, we get in our head. I don't know what to do. I gotta know everything before I do anything. I don't know what to do and I'm not ready. I'm not sure and I'm not, I'm not confident in myself. I don't know what to do and I'm not sure and I'm not ready. Just do, just take action. Just go see somebody. Just ask someone to buy. Just make the call, text somebody, door knock somebody, write a warm market script, go meet with 100 people this month. 
Nothing else matters. You can learn along the way. You'll learn product knowledge. There's still a lot of products I don't know everything about. And guess what? I don't care. There's still a lot of carriers I don't know the ins and outs of. Doesn't matter. I'm never going to sell the lowest price of anything ever. It's just not going to happen because there's always going to be something better or cheaper, you know, or whatever. I'm never going to be the greatest salesperson on planet Earth. Now, do I think I'm one of the top on our industry? Absolutely, freaking lutely But there's always going to be someone that's better probably because I'm not out there selling insurance all day, every day anymore. But what I do know is if I worried about what you guys thought of me on camera, and if I worried what I said, and if I, if, and if, and if, and if I didn't take 42 hours to study for every, every show and every video and, you know, for, for the conference, you know, we spent a decade planning it instead of just jumping in the freaking deep end and doing it, then guess what? I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, we wouldn't get anywhere. We wouldn't have tens of thousands of agents who watch our stuff all the time. But because we take action and we jump in and we do it, that's what happens. Okay, so what also happens is when you're not just doing it and jumping in and going after it and doing everything you can, that's what also happens for you too. So the biggest mistake new insurance agents make, and I want to know your comments below. A lot of you are going to disagree with me. I think that's fantastic. I think you should, and I think you should let me know in comments how much you actually disagree with me. That's what I love. But it's not going to change my opinion because new insurance agents think they need to know everything before they do anything. And it's a problem. It's false. And you need to know, you don't need to know anything before you do anything. You need to just go do, go take action, go see people, go make sales, go make money. And guess what? You will learn along the way. This is going to be a quick show, short show, because I need you to know that it doesn't have to be long. It can be short, straight to the point, and you can have, you can get it all right now. Okay. But I need you to remember that most insurance agents fail because they think they know everything. That does not have to be you. You don't have to know everything. I want you to be successful, not perfect. Remember that. I want you to be successful, not perfect. No successful person ever was perfect. Michael Jordan missed. Kobe Bryant, I believe, has like the most missed shots in NBA history ever. Because he freaking took them. Because he didn't perfect his jump shot before he started chucking the ball. He had five air balls in his first, one of his first playoff games ever. He had five air balls. Guess what? He kept shooting. You don't have to know everything to be great. You just have to go and do. So commit. Take some action. The rest of 2019, this week, and the rest of 2020, do what you don't want to do. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. Most people are uncomfortable. You're probably uncomfortable, but guess what? You need to be uncomfortable to be successful. Go do, take some action. Let me know in comments below what you think. And when you are successful because of this freaking video right here, come back and let me know how much it helped. Okay. Thanks for watching today's training. Have a phenomenal week. Go take some freaking action.